Hi students, in this video we will learn about different types of landforms and their formation. A landform is a natural feature of the earth surface like mountain, plateau, plain etc. Three forces are responsible for the formation of landforms. They are. First one is orogenic forces. These are the horizontal movements of the earth crust. The lithosphere is broken into several small and big plates. These plates push or collide each other. The sedimentary rocks are compressed during these plate movements. Usually, orogenic forces create wave-like structures or folds. These structures or folds are called fold mountains. Second one is epirogenic forces. These forces cause vertical movements of the landforms. These forces cause either increase in the height of the landforms or decrease in the height of the landforms. Increase in the height causes the formation of plateaus. Other landforms formed by vertical movements are the block mountains, rift valleys etc. Decrease in the height of the landforms may will make continents to go under the oceans. Third one is exogenic forces. Exogenic or external forces cause decrease in the height and destruction of the landforms. So, they are also called destructive forces. Weathering, soil erosion, transportation, and deposition are the processes involved in it. Mountains, high hills with an altitude more than 610 meters or 2,000 feet are called mountains. They usually have steep slopes and a high point called peak. Types of mountains are fold mountains, block mountains, volcanic mountains, residual mountains etc. Fold mountains, they are the result of large-scale movements caused by stresses in the earth crust. Orogenic forces are responsible for the formation of them. For example, the Himalayas. Collision of the earth crust causes compression and creates wave-like formation on the surface of the earth. Such formations are called fold mountains. Block mountains are raised lands between two parallel lowlands. Epirogenic forces are responsible for the formation of them. Due to tensional forces, cracks or faults may occur the land in between subsides to form a rift valley. If a block rises, it forms a horst or block mountain. For example, Sierra Nevada in California, Satpura and Vindhya in India. Block mountains with flattened summits are called horst mountains. Residual mountains. Weathering and soil erosion cause gradual decrease in the height of landforms. Rain, winds, rivers, glaciers etc. cause the lowering of the height of mountains. After a long time, only resistant areas remain in the mountains. Such mountains are called residual mountains. Example, the Nilgiri Mountains. Plateaus are high plains or tablelands. Plateau is an area of a highland, usually consisting of relatively flat terrain, that is raised significantly above the surrounding area. Types of plateaus are intermontane plateau, Volcanic Plateau, Piedmont Plateau etc. Intermontane plateaus are plateaus found between mountains. Example, Deccan Plateau in South India is located between the Western Ghats and the Eastern Ghats. Volcanic Plateaus, during the volcanic eruption, highly fluid lava spread over a large area and creates a flat land raised above the surroundings. Example, Columbia Plateau. Plains are flat level land with less altitude. Plains are divided into structural plains, depositional plains, lava plains, glacial plains, abyssal plains. Structural plains are formed due to the subsidence or uplift of the land. Example, the Great Plains of the USA were formed due to uplift of land submerged under water. On the other hand, the Coromandel Plains in India are the result of mild subsidence followed by sedimentation. Depositional plains are formed by the deposition of materials by the agents of transportation. Alluvial plains are formed by the deposition of rivers. Example Northern Plains in India. Aeolian Plains, wind deposition is predominant in the sandy deserts. The Sahara in Africa and the Dhar Desert in India are found with plains made up of wind deposition. Marine deposition is the result of deposition work by the waves of oceans and seas. Example, Coromandel Coast and Northern Sirkars in India. Lava plains are formed by the deposition of lava after a volcanic eruption. Lacustrine plains are formed due to the depositional work of lakes. Glacial plains, here flat level lands are formed due to the erosional work of glaciers. 
Dear students, most of the answers of the exercise questions of the chapter are given in this video. Try to write answers to the questions given in the textbook and begin your study. Subscribe our channel to know about the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.